one question I'm asked quite a lot is, well, where the hell's the toilet? And the answer is, it's behind the chicken shed over there, it's the shared one. But we've decided now to add one in our little cafe. Um, we really don't need a big area. If we do a homestay, you know, we're only gonna have like two to four people here, max, plus us. And so we're just gonna put a small uh, toilet in here, um, just to this side. Um, it's gonna take away from the open plan look a little bit. It's gonna make it a bit more cozy, but we've gotta be practical as well. It's not just, um, it's not just gonna look pretty. It's gotta be practical. And if we don't build the toilet now, it means that we probably have to shell out more money to bring the workers back in and uh, pour new concrete, choose a new location and build some, you know, bathroom. And really I'd, I'd like to just get this done in one go. Um, one sting is better than, uh, you know, rip the plaster off fast. And also what you see here is the metal for the roof. Now we could have gone for a, a color. We could have gone for brown or red or orange, but when you have a flat roof like this, nobody sees it. And the markup on the price is another like 30%. So we thought, oh, we'll just go for the, the silver one. And we're getting it skirted at the edges in this wood. This is reclaimed wood that we found on the land, on the farm. So you, you know, all you're gonna see is the wood around the side. You won't even see the, the top of the, the roof. And you'll notice my bamboo hut's got a silver roof too, and you hardly ever notice. So it was worth saving the 30% when buying the roof. I think in total we paid around 10,000 baht for the roof um, for, to cover all of this area here. So it's quite a large area. Um, yeah, cost saving again, cost saving, that's important. So when they finish, I will give everybody a breakdown of costs. But uh, so far, we haven't reached the 100,000 baht mark. Uh, we're probably closer to 50,000 50, baht maybe. But I'm gonna give a detailed rundown of uh, the total cost for everything, including everything at the end. Um, so you can see how cheap things can be done with not, you know, project managing yourself. So we're shopping for bogs. Uh, well, I'm shopping for bogs. Dama's at home with Otis. And here they've got some really cheap ones. You've got 2,000 baht, 2,050 baht. Uh, some promotions on bogs. So lucky. I've also bought a door for uh, the, the bathroom and, uh, and the handles and the hinges and stuff like that. So yeah, it's uh, easy enough. Everything's here. Okay, come, come back up. Okay, so for a sink, a door, a door frame, a toilet, taps, things like that, 6,000 baht in total. Not bad. I mean, I chose the cheapest of, of the pick. I mean, we don't want to go fancy here. We just want the basic, the basic necessities. And so, yeah, very cheap and always helpful here, the, the, the Thai staff. See your shoes? No. Let me see your shoes. Show me your shoes. Bum man and bum man and bum man. What is it? Bum man and bum man and bum man. Oh wow, that's so cool. <laughs> so in terms of the workmanship, one of the most expensive parts of it is actually hiring the structural engineer. He's the only one that knows where all the rebar goes and the metal and stuff like that to make the structure sound and make sure it's going to last for many, many years. So. I, we noticed on the bill that his, his price is a little bit higher than everyone else, um, which is great. You know, we're getting a good, uh, good quality service. So um, they've now just put the lining in for where the toilet will be. The roof has gone on. I'm really glad we didn't go for a color. 
of the roof because it was 30% more expensive and you can't even see it. You can't even see the top of the roof, nor can you see uh, see it from behind either. So yeah, I'm very happy that we didn't we didn't do that. Just been having a good laugh with these guys. Uh, they're, they're very funny, you know, very down to earth. And it often occurs to me is, you know, why is my karma in being able to be in this position, being able to travel the world and to um, live my life the way that I have. And their karma is to do this each day. And who knows who's happier, you know, it's hard to tell. I think um, some might say they are happier. Uh, than most of us that are in the rat race. But I have a deep love and respect for them. They are down to earth, real people. And you know, I often ponder also their struggles, their choices that they have to make in life. You know, not everybody is born with uh, opportunity and with uh, the, the same privileges that other people are born. And in their case, I imagine they have to make quite difficult decisions. And that's probably why the, the link between the Lao Kao and the need, needing to have a beer in the morning. It's, um, I think I'd have to have a beer in the morning if I was earning so little and, and had to make those kind of choices in, in life. And it just puts in, in a, a bit of perspective on my, my, the gratitude for my own life, but also a bit of perspective on what does it mean to be happy? Because it isn't to be rich. These guys have been laughing and joking a lot more than uh, some of the millionaires and billionaires that I know. Um, I was talking with a friend of mine that has a logistics company, three very large companies moving in and out in China. And uh, she's completely miserable, completely miserable, although the, the companies are making millions and millions of dollars. Um, it's just, it's difficult life. It's a difficult one to, to pinpoint the yin and the yang of it. Um, I think in the end, it's about just finding that peace within. That's where happiness is. Uh, finding that, that peace within and the, the money, the fortune, the, anything else doesn't really matter. Contentment is, is more important. And contentment is the realization of what you have in the moment is more often than not enough. Uh, to be content with enough. And uh, you know, like Buddha, uh, Buddha said, the, the root of suffering is desire. And desire for more and more and more if one can be content with what they have uh, in the moment, that's where you usually find your happiness. <laughs>
So he's found himself in a bit of a predicament, unfortunately. They've gone into a wet puddly hole. They've had to drop the soil early. And I fear it's only made things worse. I have a feeling we're all going to have to push very soon. Seems a bit pissed as well. The soil is actually to fill in the floor here. So you don't have to spend as much on concrete. Um, put the soil down first and add the concrete on top. It's, uh, it's a money saver. So far, so good. This little side extension here is going to be for the uh, jacuzzi. It's a separate area. We have the toilet in. Uh, the plastering has been done very nice too. And uh, he's still working at getting his truck out. He's not happy. Okay, so he got out. That's the end of that story. And this is his friend coming in. Let's hope for better luck. Oh no. So now this one's stuck in the buffalo doo doo. And he's got to unload it there. Soon we're just going to have docks of soil. Little, little hills everywhere. So in terms of the financial aspect, we've received a couple of bills, we're very happy. I should mention that when we said pay by the day, that was limited to five days. So it wasn't just so it can go on and on and on, uh, five days. And these guys, I come to find out, find out that they charge per square meter. So whatever square meterage of wall they plaster, they have a set fee. Whatever square meter of uh, concrete floor they do, it's um, it's actually 500 bar per cubic meter apparently. So um, so yeah, and, and it's been very very cheap. I'm going to be doing a full breakdown of the costs and um, and exactly how much the whole thing costs at the end. I think you're going to be very surprised. Big city for the simple country life Found myself a woman that it took for me to be my way I was working on the ground come the sun up to sun time Hey, I try to make a reputation for a man inside this town Hard as I try, maybe I just can't I ain't no up and kind of leave me one time and she took my heart Baby, you can love me, you can leave me I'm a honky-tonk star Yeah, I'm a honky-tonk star Well, I work at three jobs Living out of a car Mama never told me life would get this hard Running around the world playing my guitar Baby, you can love me, you can leave me I'm a honky-tonk star Yeah, I'm a honky-tonk star Right, Tess, I've got an idea you put your shoes on, yeah? Yeah. And then we'll go shop. We'll go to the shop, yeah? And then we'll play pool. Yeah? yeah? And then we'll play water bomb. And then we'll play bubble. Is that what you want to do? Yeah. Right, so what we're going to do? What we're going to do? First go shop. And then... And then? Okay. Water. Water. And then? Okay. Bubba. Yeah. Right, we've got a very busy day, haven't we? It's a very busy day for us. Isn't it? Yeah. We're going to be so busy, aren't we? Yeah. Right, put your shoes on then. And let's go. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep. Get out of the bloody way. Get out of the 
the bloody way, you? Beep, 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 beep. Teaching him how to drive at a young age. That's how we do it. Tissa, you're so happy. Yeah. Have your dreams come true? Yeah. Where are you going? What's your head, little bugger? I just came across this huge woodman spider. It is huge. The size of a bloody hand. Usually not aggressive. They uh, they won't attack you, but they have a painful bite. I'll let it go on its way. It's like a bloody starfish falling across the floor. And hello again from the bamboo hut. Is becoming my final thoughts at the end of each uh, each vlog. I'd just like to welcome new members El Padrico and Joella Quella and uh, Jip Harnwell. So thanks for signing up, guys, to our membership. Uh, thanks for hitting that join button. It's really a nice show of support for us and the project that we're doing here. We're really uh, happy you enjoy the content that much. Um, just some final thoughts. So far, we're really happy with how the project's going. We think possibly one more week and we should have a, a final project and then I'll be able to give the budget rundown so of how much it's actually costing and um, yeah, what uh, how if we've managed to keep in line with our budget. And I think so far we're on track. Damo is managing that uh, thus far. So if you guys ever have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comments section. I tried to get it to as many people as, uh, as I can, but we're getting more and more comments through now. Uh, and thanks as ever for your support of the vlog. Thanks for subscribing and liking the content and sharing it out. Uh, really helps us and we hope you found it interesting and informative what we're doing here. Oh, oh, oh.